Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How y'all doing? I um, just so wanna say welcome back and hello to any new subscribers. So a part of this week, I'll be doing a full face challenge. So I think I'm doing it for two more days. I think I've already got two other brands where I've got their full range. So today I'm gonna be doing NARS. Yeah! Oh my God, NARS has to be one of my most favorite brands ever. If someone was to ask me, what someone did ask me, if you could only wear one brand of makeup, um, for like the rest of your life who would it be and I actually said NARS just because NARS has like one of the best colour ranges for um, people of deeper skin tones or ethnicities I feel like they're always expanding shades their products feel so luxurious their packaging is always amazing their concealer is my favourite concealer even though it finishes a bit fast <laughs> their concealer it has to be the most best concealer ever so I'm going to be doing a full face of NARS I do have to apologise I did my brows off camera I don't have any NARS eyeshadow eyebrow products and I don't have um a nice mascara or powder but it will be eyeshadow foundation concealer and highlighter so to me that's practically a full face because i just have a nice more mascara i did have one but where did it go i think it dried out and i did have whatever let's just start the video let's just begin so um nars kindly sent me some of these products but um i do have some obviously myself that i bought and um, this video is not sponsored so before any of you guys start saying i'm actually gonna go in with the pore and refine control primer because this primer is so good it's actually finishing i need to get a new one it's so good so um that stuff is quite pricey but i just feel like if you really want something that's gonna last and you want something that's worth the money definitely go for NARS so they sent me their radiance primer which looks like this which looks like that and um it's supposed to give you more of a glow it has more of a pink undertone you probably can't see on the camera but yeah it's more of a pink undertone I'm gonna put that on the outside of my face that's where I want the most glow how are you guys doing did you guys enjoy the Make Evolution video yesterday like i'm trying to be more consistent with you guys just because i was so upset with myself that i took a two-week hiatus off youtube some of you are coming for me on youtube i mean on instagram and if none of you don't follow me on instagram babes pause the video and get your phone and follow me on the socials here which will pop up somewhere around here and you can see my facebook my twitter but my instagram is where i'm the most active so that's primer all done um okay so I don't have a corrector from NARS, but I don't think I'm gonna need a corrector because my skin isn't as um, unpigmenty. Is that even a word? Anyway, um, I'm trying to think what to go in with first. Um, okay, should I do eyes first? I'm gonna do eyes first just because that's gonna be the most messy. So NARS sent me their, their new, they're not, they're not new. These are the Soft Complete Cream Concealers. Um, I don't know what they're called. Yes, yeah, Soft Matte Complete Concealer. So they sent me three shades. Um, they sent me Cacao, Amande, and Cafe. Cafe is my shade. Cacao is a bit darker, so I'm gonna use Amande as an eyeshadow base. So, okay, this works so well as an eyeshadow base. I'm actually just gonna set it because I don't have any translucent powders from NARS to set. So I'm basically just gonna take some Sasha Buttercup and run that all over the eye. Just so it gives our eyelid a smooth base for the shadow. I've never tried NARS eyeshadow, so this is gonna be a first um, impression for me, really. And um, I'm quite excited because they seem super pigmented. But the thing is, when I look at NARS, I was on their Instagram a minute ago because I was trying to get a bit of inspiration because I've already got a few colours of their eyeshadows. And when I look at NARS, NARS is very high fashion. It's very haute couture. They're not about the whole... They're not very Instagram glam. They're not like the big lash. In their pictures, a lot of the girls weren't even wearing eyelashes. about the skin. They're about like a nice... Their eyes quite very runway. And their skin's quite polished. You can see some skin. But with NARS, I do know that they do say apply the foundation with hands. But I won't be doing that today because I need a beauty blender. But um, they do say apply the foundation with hands. Because that's where you get most um, kind of work. So let's just begin. This beautiful colour here called Coconut Grove. It's like a really cute chocolatey brown. I've got Barley. I love their names. They're so tropical. And I've got Isolod. I used to have this, but I never used it. I got it free somewhere, but I lost it. And it's so nice. The pigment on this is crazy. So um, let's go in with Isolod just around the crease.
I'm literally just trying to create some dimension in my eye and I'll do the other eye as well before we get really down to business. Okay, so I just used a bit of Barlene eye just to smoke it out. It's quite grey, but it's kind of light, so I didn't want to go in just with um, Coconut Grove. Let's see the pigment. <gasps> Look at the pigments! The shadows have such a mad pigment. I fucking love it. Um, I just love the way these have little mirrors because you know when you buy a single eyeshadow, sometimes some people just use one eyeshadow because some people don't love using free shadows or a madness, you know what I mean? So for these to come with a little mirror, that's just why I say NARS, think about their packaging, it's luxurious, it's just worth the money. Like if you can invest in NARS, invest in it because if I could have a whole room full of NARS, I would, but obviously some of, oh my God, I don't even have any NARS skincare, but NARS do the best skincare. They do this thing, I've had it in videos before, I can't remember what it's called, but um, it's like a light reflecting serum and it's called, it's good for um, darkness, but it's amazing, so whatever. So I'm gonna go in with this, which is called um, Shadow Groove, and I'm literally just gonna darken up the crease. Ooh, are you like, look at the pigment on that, oh my God. A light hand is needed. I'm liking the way that looks. I'm definitely gonna have to blend it out a bit more though. Okay, so I've just smoked out my crease using um, Coconut Grove. Such a cool name. I've tried to make it as dark because on camera, it wasn't appearing that warm. So I'm literally taking a bit of the Coco Coconut Grove and just sweeping it under my um, lash line. I'm actually gonna change brush. I'm gonna use this really cool um, thin one that I got, got from Morphe. It's so cute. I'm just gonna. Okay, so I've kind of made it smoky. It looks kind of like a soft blacky brown. Maybe I should have used a different eyeshadow colour base, but I think it looks quite nice. It's quite smoky. Um, I think I'm just going to put the gold colour all over and maybe... Okay, so this is I Sold. I'm not sure you say it. I think it's I Sold. So I'm going to use this colour here because it's so pretty. It's like more of like a bronzy colour like that. And the other one's more like a sort of like light gold. Look at that pigment, bitch! Oh what, my god, you can even use this, I might use this as a highlight, but actually no, I've got the new highlights here to use for you guys anyway, so I'll save this, so I'm gonna use this like on the lid, let me see, let me see what it's like, oh my god, look at that, the payoff is so nice, and this is a mirror as well, so I'm telling you, packaging. Look at that, so nice, so nice. So I went under my eye, I should have used a brush really, but oh well, let me just blend this. Hey guys, so I kind of added a black eyeliner, I kind of smoked it out. Do you guys think of it? I think, because I've already got those kind of colours, I didn't want to use any other eyeshadow, so I guess it kind of looks like a golden black smoky eye, but I think I might have to add a lash, even though I didn't want to, just to make the eye a bit of va va boom. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to start on the base with my favourite bit, and we'll come back to the eyes, we'll add some lashes, we'll smoke it out once I've done the concealer, and we'll make it pop a bit more. But I think when you don't have a base light, it looks a bit mad. So, <clears throat> these foundations, can we have a moment? So this is the... Radiant Longwear Foundation. I'm just going to re read you some claims what this foundation does. So it's a 16 hour foundation that stays turned on by the power of radiance. Untraceable, unstoppable, unlike anything else. Longwear is a, is a long way and radiant, high coverage, now supernatural, but breathable, fade resistant foundation with raspberry apple and watermelon astra extracts to help smooth and improve the um in your skin instantly so this is good for a normal combination of oily skin types so it's good for basically all skin types and the facts it has are transfer resistant sweat resistant faith resistant non-drying alcohol free oil free dermatologist tested and non-condomogenic okay so nars is giving out loads of claims which i love and this foundation i have to say it's not the first time using it it's so nice so i'm gonna go in with the first shade which is Ma manis Manus and um, I'm literally going to do this on the outside perimeter of my face because this side is a bit darker. I'm going to use the lighter one in the inner perimeter of the face. Love this formula and I love All Day Luminous. Love, love that foundation. I was addicted to it at one point but then I think I just kind of got bored of it. Like I was wearing it every day for like a year and I felt like I just needed something else but um, I love this foundation. Let's look how it's just like blending in seamlessly. It blends really, really well. 
And I, I don't think I only use like two pumps. So I'm just mixing colours. This is the dark one, but it's not that dark. I think it's like one shade darker than what I've got. So love this Nars. A case for the base is all done. All about that base, about that base. No trouble. Sorry, I had to do that. Um I just feel like this blended out like it you know when you get hot toast and the butter just melts. This is how it melts on my skin, like such an easy foundation to put on and like Oh, I love it. Anyway, so my favorite concealer ever. I have gone through 20 of these concealers, I think this, not, not this year, but I think throughout my life. I remember going to Hong Kong and, was it Hong Kong or Singapore? And it had a really beautiful nostril. It was like all white, it was gorgeous. So my favorite color to use is Cafe. I use some in my eye because I feel like it makes my eye just look super refreshed. I feel like I've tried so much other concealers, I've tried Double Wear, I've tried NYX, I've tried MAC. I feel like this is the only concealer that makes my under eye look replenished. And look, it looks like I've had like eight hours sleep when I haven't. Like I'm not sure what it's got in it, but it just gives my under eye a really nice kind of sheen. But it doesn't, actually does this crease? It creases if you use too much of it, but um, it doesn't crease like crazy like a, um, like, I found that I've used um, their complete matte concealer under the eye, but I find that that concealer isn't that brightening. But um, I find that this concealer is more brightening than the soft matte complete. But if you're not looking for a brightening concealer and you're looking for a spot concealer, I would definitely go for the um, soft matte complete because it's just going to be a better suit for you. Because I want to be extra and add a bit more coverage, I'm going to take the soft matte complete concealer in um, Cafe. I'm just going to put that around my mouth. NARS do, in my opinion, one of the best complexion ranges in the game. Like, no one can touch them. They've got their gold on the tongue. What? Babes, you know you guys agree with me. So I'm, I've added that for a bit of coverage because I wanted to use it and see what it's like. This is definitely more of a flat concealer. It's not brightening, but it definitely is going to cover up those pigmentations, those dark spots. So good, everything, I think because I'm using all NARS, everything's working well together. The primer looks good, the eyes look good. Everything's working well because obviously they're part of the same product group. So that definitely plays a role in makeup because sometimes you can use a primer, but it may not work for you because the foundation has a certain ingredient in it. Do you know what I mean? Like girl, you need to do that research. Okay, so these are the two concealers here that I use for highlighting. So this is Amande and this is Walnut. So Amande probably isn't the brightest to highlight anymore. It used to be for me until Nars extended their um, concealer shades about Truffle, the book, uh, Dark Coffee, which is a really good contour shade, but it's quite cool. And Walnut's one of their newest shades. So this is really good to highlight. Oh my God. Jacket Eye, I used it in a video and I had to get it. Look how yellow it is. It's so yellow, but it's golden. It's so pretty. Oh my God. So I'm gonna use this to highlight. I'm just going to put some under my nose. I'm going to allow it to dry because if you let these concealers dry, you get maximum coverage. So I'm going to put that under there. Like that. Okay, so now we've allowed it to dry, we can literally try and blend it in now. And what I like about this concealer, it's still movable. Like, it doesn't dry. It's not, like, super matte. But I reckon I could see NARS coming out of, like, a really matte concealer. But, you know... Oh, I love it. It's kind of like an NC45 slash 47 in like matte color terms. Like, are you seeing how that's blending? Like, wow. So good. Finish blending this out and set the, set the powder with my Sasha Buttercup because I don't have a yellow base powder from NARS. I don't think they do one. So I'm going to do that and then I'll come back right to Hey guys, I literally had to spray myself with a bit of setting spray. I took this shade here and I literally put some under my eye and in the corners here. Just because I feel like the eye needed a bit of mm, You know what I mean? It needed a mm, Because it, to me, it just looked a bit, I don't know. I like this though. It looks really nice, really cute. And I think, I think it sort of draws you into my eyes a bit more like... <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I'm trying to think what to do now. So we've done our base. I feel like we just need to, I need, I need to add like a contour pan. I don't have a NARS contour powder, so I'm going to do it off camera because I want to keep this video strictly NARS. And I'll be... 
Okay, so I added a bit of contour. Um, for once, I didn't use a cream contour, I just used like a powder contour. I'm a, a bit annoyed that NARS don't do a darker shade for me, but um, I think that's something they'll prove in the future. So I literally have to do that. I did a bit of my nose as well. So my favorite bit is highlighting. Oh my God. So NARS have recently released um, a few highlighting powders. I've got two here. So this is my favorite one. This is St. Baths. So cute. And this is the other one, it's called Capri. This one's a bit lighter. It's probably not for my skin tone. Let me just swatch it. It's more of like, see, it's really, really light. I might just, I might give that to someone actually. Actually, to be fair, I could use that as an eyeshadow. And um, St. Bart's is this beautiful golden shade. The thing is with NARS highlights, what I've noticed, when I put them on the skin, they look, um, they don't look, they're not super blinding. They're more like a, a, quite a like, a soft light on the skin so I'm literally gonna find where is my um, Morphe um, brush to hide? I can't find my Morphe brush but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use my Anastasia one I'm going to St. Barb's and I'll show you the finish so see actually no it's blinding it's actually blinding Ooh. And it's actually like gold. It reminds me of um, Mac did this limited edition one called Double Definition, and it's like this, but this is much more smoother in texture. Like on the skin, it's can you see that? It just looks like a pretty little light on my face. So I'm gonna do the nose as well. I'm just gonna use a pencil brush and put some on the edge of my nose. I'm also gonna do the lip as well. I'm I'm really annoyed. I haven't got any Nars lip products. Um, to be honest, I've, I haven't really tried a lot of their lipsticks. I found that with their lipsticks, there's a lot more pinkier than brown nude. So I don't, I'm not sure if I've changed it, but I did work on NARS for a few months doing a freelance artist job in central London, but this was like a few years ago, so it could have changed. So yeah, so I'm loving this highlight. It's actually so beautiful. Everything's just meshing, working well. So what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna add some lashes. Shall I add some lashes? I'm gonna add some lashes and then um, I'm gonna add a lip and I think the look should be finished and I'll give you my final verdict. So hey guys, this is the finished look. I added some lashes. These are the Huda um, Noelles. Um, not do do lashes, but I'm not sure if they're that dramatic and I feel like the lash kind of really lifted the eye. Um, I smoked out a bit at the bottom because I needed some drama. I did a fancy glass. I know it's an all Nas video, but I didn't have some things. And obviously the main stuff was the complexion. So no one come for me, please. I feel like the face, the complexion is so stunning. Like literally, I think the complexion was more fun to do for me than the eyes. But I like the eyes. I definitely want to try the Nars Wanted palette because that's more colourful. And I felt like this was kind of like muted just because it was brown and gold. And I feel like brown and gold can be a bit boring now. But um, I definitely love the highlighter. The highlight's nice. Um, it's not extremely blinding, but it's a really beautiful glow which just looks melted into the skin. I'm not, I don't think Nars do a setting spray. I'm not too sure. I'm definitely gonna have to go into Nars and definitely check again. But let me guys know what you think of this look. Would you wear it? Do you like the eyeshadow? You can even wear the um, eyeshadow as a highlight actually. I've never tried that. You could wear, you could definitely wear this shade as a highlight. You could wear both shades as a highlight. So if you don't feel like you'd want to get the highlight, definitely get this eyeshadow because it's really beautiful in pigment. Um, you could also, I think this is a really nice, unique color. Um, it's such a beautiful, like chocolatey brown. Um, the concealers were nice. For me, the foundations were just the star of the show. Um, obviously, the concealers, you can't really go wrong. Um, but yeah. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys want more of these videos, if you want like a full face of NYX or a full face of Too Faced next, vote down below and I'll record that video for you. Let me guys know if you like this series. Bye guys, I'll see you soon.